Major news outlets are asking Donald Trump and Joe Biden to publicly commit to multiple presidential debates. Trump has said anytime, any place, while Biden's team hasn't responded to the media's joint request. But he's previously raised concerns over whether a debate could be conducted fairly. The commission that organizes debates has the first presidential debate slated for September 16th with two more in October. President Biden has not publicly committed to any debates with former President Trump, not saying much on the matter. But when asked by reporters, Biden said Trump wants to debate because he's got nothing else to do and said a debate would depend on Trump's behavior. As previous debates between the two in 2020 were at times unconventional, chaotic and not by the commission's rules. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Don't ever use that word. Oh, give me a break. Because you know what? There's nothing smart about you, Joe. The question is, the question is, the question left. Will you shut up, man? Listen, who is, sir? With a billion dollars, if you get rid of this, you know what? You're really not true. You're doing it. You're going to have true. Gentlemen. Well, it's hard to get any word in with this clown. Excuse me. This. Hey, let me just say to you. Well, first of all, I guess I'm debating you, not him. But that's OK. I'm not surprised. Trump not only wants to debate, but he wants more debates and wants them to be earlier than September. Trump said voting is beginning earlier and earlier. And in 2020, millions of Americans had already voted by the time of the first debate. In their joint letter to Biden and Trump, media organizations said general election debates have a rich tradition in our American democracy. Having played a vital role in every presidential election of the past 50 years, dating to 1976. In each of those elections, tens of millions have tuned in to watch the candidates debating side by side in a competition of ideas for the votes of American citizens. The news outlet said if there's one thing Americans can agree on during this polarized time, it's that the stakes of this election are exceptionally high. As things currently look, it could be another close election. Some polls show President Biden with a lead over Trump and other polls show Trump with the advantage. Debates could help some voters choose who will lead the country for the next four years.